Hi there, in this video I'm going to do a past exam question on differentiation. So let's take a look at the question. Question number one, a curve C is described by the equation 3x squared plus 4y squared minus 2x plus 6xy minus 5 is equal to 0. And we need to calculate the equation of the tangent 2C at the point 1 minus 2, giving the answer in the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, where a, b and c are integers. So let's see how this is done. Let's go to the paper and pen. So here is the equation, and we need the equation of the tangent at this point 1 minus 2. If you're unaware about the topic of implicit functions and how they can be differentiated, I have created a video explaining the process alongside with additional examples and I'll provide a link to that video in the description below. So back to the question. To work out the equation of the tangent, we need to work out the gradient of the tangent and to find the gradient of the tangent, we need the gradient function dy over dx. So let me go through the process. So we have this equation. To work out dy over dx, first we need to differentiate with respect to x each and every term. So by differentiating with respect to x, so we need to differentiate every term in the equation with respect to x, both sides. So we have d by dx of 3x squared, the first term plus, so a plus, we need to differentiate with respect to x, 4y squared minus, so a minus, we also differentiate with respect to x, 2x plus, so a plus, we need to differentiate with respect to x, 6xy minus, we also differentiate with respect to x, 5, and that is equal to, we even differentiate the right hand terms, so 0. So in other words, we need to differentiate each term present in the equation with respect to x on both sides. Now d by dx of 3x squared is straightforward. When you differentiate, you get 6x. Similarly, when you differentiate 2x, straightforward again, it's 2. Derivative of 5, straightforward, that is 0. When you differentiate 0, it's 0. So let's differentiate this term, 4y squared, with respect to x. Let's do that as a side calculation. Let's call that star. And let me also show you how to differentiate 6xy with respect to x. We'll call that double star. So as a side calculation, let's concentrate on star. So let me show you how to differentiate with respect to x 4y squared. So if you want to differentiate a y term only with respect to x, so any y term only with respect to x, we need to apply the chain rule. So by chain rule, and the chain rule says we first differentiate that y term only with respect to y. So if we first differentiate 4y squared, the y term only with respect to y first, and then multiply by dy over dx. So if we differentiate 4y squared with respect to y, we'll get 8y times dy over dx. So it's 8y dy over dx. So that is a solution to star. Let me show you how to tackle double star. So for double star we need to work out d by dx of 6xy. Now unlike star we have a term involving x and y. So to differentiate any term involving x and y with respect to x, we need to use either the product or the quotient rule. In this case, we have a product of two functions. Let's use the product rule. So I'm going to take 6x to be my u. I'm going to take my v to be the remaining term, which is y. And let's use the product rule here. So by product, 
rule. So remember the product rule, d by dx of uv, here's the formula, it's v du over dx plus u dv over dx. Now for the formula we need du over dx and dv over dx. So since u, u is 6x, that makes du over dx when I differentiate 6. And v, v is y, let's think about dv over dx. Now if you remember the concept that we used earlier, to differentiate any y term only, so any y term only with respect to x, that is where we need to use a chain rule. So we need to use a chain rule over here. So remember the chain rule. The chain rule is we first differentiate with respect to y. So let's work out d by dy of the y term only, which is y, then multiply by dy over dx. So let's continue. When I differentiate y with respect to y, it's 1. 1 times dy over dx is dy over dx. So that is what you should have for dv over dx. So continuing on with the side calculation, so if I substitute the data into the product tool, we're going to have d by dx of u in this case is 6x, v in this case is y. So that should match the question. Okay, so d by dx of 6xy. That is equal to v, v is y, so y, multiplied by du over dx being 6, plus, so a plus, u, u is 6x, multiplied by dv over dx, which is dy over dx. So that is what you should have upon replacement of the data into the product tool. So let's get rid of the brackets. 6 times y is 6y plus 6x times dy over dx is 6x dy over dx. So that should be the outcome for the derivative of 6xy. So let's go back and remember we have star. So the derivative of 4y squared is 8y dy over dx. We now have the solution to double star. When we differentiated 6xy, we had an answer of 6y plus 6x dy over dx. So let's incorporate these in the main calculation. So let's take our time. We have d by dx of 3x squared, that is 6x. So let me continue. So we have 6x plus and d by dx of 4y squared, we had 8y dy over dx. So 8y dy over dx, close brackets. Minus d by dx of 2x, that is 2, so a minus 2. And plus d by dx of 6xy, so plus and d by dx of 6xy, we have the solution here. So we had 6y plus 6x dy over dx. Close bracket. So let's go back. Minus d by dx of 5, that is 0. So nothing. But that's equal to d by dx of 0, which is 0. So that is equal to zero on the right. So this is the equation as it stands. So for the equation of the tangent, we need the gradient of the tangent, remember, and for that, we need dy over dx. So what I'm gonna do is, let me keep these two dy over dx terms on the left. So I'm gonna keep the eight y dy over dx, as well as the six x, so plus the 6x dy over dx terms on the left. And let me 
take the remaining non-dy over dx terms, so the non-dy over dx terms are 6x minus 2 and 6y to the right hand side. So that will give me a minus 6x plus a 2 minus a 6y when moved to the right. So this is what we have for the moment. So be careful when you move terms. Now, from here on, let me take a common factor of dy over dx. So if I take a common factor of dy over dx on the left-hand side, I'm left with 8y plus 6x. That is equal to the minus 6x plus the 2 minus the 6y on the right-hand side. And if I rearrange for dy over dx, dy over dx is then minus 6x plus 2 minus 6y all over the 8y plus 6x term. So that is what it should have for the gradient function dy over dx. Now moving on from there, so if you go back to the question, we need the equation of the tangent at 1 minus 2. So if we go to the paper and pen, we have the gradient function dy over dx. So to find the gradient of the tangent, let's put the x and y coordinates into the gradient function. So the gradient of the tangent at, and the point has coordinates one minus two. I like to refer the gradient of the tangent as m1. So m1, the tangent gradient, will be if I replace the x and y coordinates in dy over dx, we're going to have minus 6, x replaced by 1, plus the 2, minus 6 into y replaced by minus 2, all over, so all over, 8 into y replaced by minus 2, plus 6 multiplied by x which is replaced by 1. So if we multiply out, so minus 6 times 1 is minus 6, plus 2 that is minus 4, minus 4 plus the 12 from here, so minus 4 plus the 12 is plus 8, all divided by 8 times minus 2 is minus 16 and minus 16 plus 6 into 1 is minus 10. So we can simplify that down. Minus 8 over 10 can be reduced to minus 4 over 5. So minus 4 over 5 being the gradient of the tangent. We have the gradient of the tangent. We have the point where the tangent passes through. Since the tangent is a straight line, let's calculate the equation of the tangent given the gradient now and the point where the tangent passes through. So the equation of the tangent at the given point 1 minus 2. So let's use a straight line formula. y minus y1 is m into x minus x1. So m is the gradient of the tangent in this formula. m is m1 that being minus 4 over 5. x1 and y1 in the formula are the coordinates of the points where the tangent passes through, that being 1 minus 2, given in the question. So if I replace the data in the formula, we're going to get y minus y1 is minus 2. That is equal to m m is minus 4 over 5 into x minus and x1 is 1. Multiplying the brackets is going to give us y minus into minus is plus 2, so y plus 2 on the left. That is equal to minus 4 over 5 times x is minus 4 over 5x. Minus 4 over 5 times minus 1 is plus 4 over 5. So this is what you should have when you remove your brackets. 
and if you multiply by 5, so if I multiply every term in this equation by 5, 5 times y is 5y, plus 5 times 2, which is 10, that is equal to minus 4 over 5x, times 5 is minus 4x, so it's minus 4x, plus 4 over 5, times 5 is 4. So, let me continue over here. Now, if we go back to the question, so going to the question, we want it in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. So we need to rearrange to make it in that form. So if we go back to the paper and pen, we can now rearrange this to make it in the appropriate form. So if I take the minus 4x as well as the 4 to the left hand side, so we're going to have 4x plus 5y and 10 minus the 4 is 6 and that is equal to 0. So that should be the final answer to this problem. So that is the solution to question number 1. So that ends the question and that sadly ends the video also so i hope you found this video helpful i hope you enjoyed the video do plenty of practice related problems and i hope to see you again thank you